Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're diving into Cyberpunk 2077 2.3 update, so we can also update XCSS to version 2.1 and unlock the latest features with uh, our favorite DLSS swapper. So let's hack the future. So first, let me launch the game and we're going to check the vanilla setup. No mods, we're going to go completely vanilla on this run, so we can just showcase how this works. No OptiScaler, nothing, just pure in-game beauty. Okay, I've launched Cyberpunk 2077 and I'll head into the options. As you can see on the top right, this is the uh, patch 2.3 update. So these are all the changes listed over here. And uh, if we go into the settings, graphics options, and as you can see, I have selected the Ray Tracing Ultra preset and it defaults to these settings over here. So I'm gonna change some things. As we all know, the FSR implementation of this game is kind of horrific, no matter what version we choose. So let's go ahead and choose Intel XSS Super Resolution 2. And uh, unfortunately, there is no native AA option for the XCSS uh, in game, even if we update it afterwards. But let me apply these settings over here. As you can see, we do not have access to the XCSS frame generation over here. Uh, everything else, I'm gonna just uh, go on ahead and set how I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable the chromatic aberration and motion blur because uh, I hate it in this game and in most games basically. And I think this is pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just load a save file I just uh, created. So yeah, this is how the game looks so far. Also on the bottom left, pretty sure you can see we have the uh, Steam overlay, which is pretty useful in my opinion. And uh, you can see the CPU, GPU usage and uh, basically our frames per second. And this is how uh, this looks. And if we go back into the settings and then into the video settings, you can see uh, we cannot turn on the Intel XE low latency. It's going to tell us this is specific for Intel Arc GPUs and uh, we have uh, no access to this option. So uh, let's go on ahead and quit out of the game and we're going to update our XSS binaries in a very, very easy way. So with the game uh, closed, we're gonna go ahead and update those XSS binaries. The way I prefer to do it is how we've done in so many previous videos that you can find on my channel. Uh, I'm gonna have a link in the description below for DLSS Swapper. So let me go ahead and run this beautiful tool. And as you can see over here, we have our games listed. Cyberpunk is over here. Before we do anything, I would suggest we click on this uh, little book icon over here that when we hover over it, uh, says a library. And uh, I would suggest you update to the latest version of each of those binaries. And as you can see, uh, I've already done this. So yeah, the latest XCSS uh, version is going to be as of the filming of this video 2.0.2.53. And uh, we have the latest XCSS frame generation, which is the 12087 and XCLL, which is the low latency 1209. So how do we do this? Go back into the games tab. We're going to click on the Cyberpunk uh, game over here. We're only interested in the XCSS stuff because yes, uh, by default, the game now has the 314 implementation. Still very bad in my opinion in comparison with the latest XCSS. So click on this 
XCSS little um, tab over there and as you can see it has the previous version installed unfortunately so we're gonna click on the latest version and we're gonna click on this bluish button saying swap and it's gonna have the latest version now and we're gonna do the same for the frame generation we're gonna go to the latest version click swap and XELL the low latency we're gonna go to the latest version close that you can exit out of DLSS swapper now and uh, yeah, pretty much this is it. It's super, super easy and simple. That's why I prefer this method. Any other method will require you to go find the binaries from somewhere, even if it's Intel themselves. And then after you download them, you need to find where you need to go into your game and override those previous folders. In some games, it's kind of simple and easy. And in some other games, you have to dig into all the folders and find where those boundaries are and then uh, basically overwrite them. So DLSS Swapper just does that for us and it's an open source free tool we can all use. So yeah. So basically DLSS Swapper, just use it. It makes it a breeze. Binaries updated, awesome. Relaunch the game and just load a save game just to be on the safe side. And again, we're gonna go into the options and first we're gonna head into the graphics tab over here. And as you can see, we have this already selected, which is the XCSS Super Resolution 2, but it is using the newest version because as you can see here on the frame generation, we have a third option. So the first option, as we had before, AMD FSR 3.1 frame generation. Second option, Intel XCSS frame generation. So here we go. I'm going to click on the apply button and it says some settings will only take effect after the game has been restarted. Before we restart the game, I would suggest we go into the video tab and over here it says Intel XE low latency frame rate target. And as you can see, the Intel XE low latency is now on by default. So this, as you can see, the description over here allows you to indicate your desired frame rate using Intel XE low latency technology. And it says confirmation required. I'm gonna go with 162 over here, click apply. And the next thing I would do is quit the game and then relaunch it. No matter what some other tech YouTubers will tell you because they see a bigger number that, oh, you don't need to restart the game. I would suggest you do restart the game because some of the injections do not happen and you don't want that. You're gonna believe, oh, the implementation is bad. Then you're gonna see ghosting or something like that. It's most of the times because you didn't restart the game. So you need to restart the game for the effect to be implemented completely. Okay, I'm gonna load the exact same save game over here. Okay, so here we go. We can see there is some FG going on over there. I don't know what that exactly means. We have uh, the frames per second. The game feels smoother. That's good. And uh, yeah, I don't see any problems. So let's go over here into the settings just to confirm we have everything as we should. And you can see XSS Super Resolution 2.0. It's not 2.0, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Intel XSS frame generation is also enabled. And if we go into the video tab, you can see that our options are enabled over here. So the XE low latency is on and we have the target frame rate that we wish so yeah it's super simple and this is pretty much how you do it smoother frames lower latency all thanks to xss 2.1 So that's it, Cyberpunks. You've updated XSS to 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077 2.3 update with DLSS Swapper. Super easy. Grab it from GitHub. As always, links for everything we talk about in my videos you can find in the description, you know where, below. If this unlocked some epic features for you too, smash that like button, subscribe, don't forget to click on that bell to never miss another video ever again. 
and drop a comment with your favorite setting. Stay geeky and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.